and ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Third Grade Wax Museum, where history comes to life for your entertainment and enrichment. We hope you enjoy today's presentation. Historical figures, ready! There are many famous heroes in our country's history. You will learn all about them as you come along with me. We will show you the importance of the people you will meet when the Wax Museum comes alive. Historical figures, wax. O oh, flag of our union, to you will be true to your red and white stripes and your stars on the blue. The emblem of freedom, the symbol of right, we children salute you, a flag fair and bright. Please stand, place your hand over your heart for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Many years ago, this country was established with the Constitution of America, and it all began with the preamble. The preamble is a list of goals the Founding Fathers had for our new country, the United States of America. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. To Historical figures, wax. Hello, I am Joan Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and I was born on March 15, 1933, as a Bader in Brooklyn, New York. You may have heard that I am on the Supreme Court. I was inspired to become a lawyer because women didn't have the same rights as men. As an example, people in the 1900s thought women relied on men and that women were too weak and scared to do big things in the world, but I proved them wrong. I made the world a better place by showing women that they can do whatever they want if they set their mind to it. I dissent. Hello, my name is Eleanor Roosevelt. I was born October 11, 1884 in New York City. One thing you should know about me is when both of my parents are allowed to go to my strict grandmother's house. I married Franklin Roosevelt and I was first lady for 12 years. I made the world a better place by fighting for women and children to be equal like men. I might be dead, but you can still remember my words. It's better to light a candle than curse the dark. Thanks for take off. Oops, sorry, I didn't see you there. Hello, I'm Amelia Earhart. I was born July 24, 1897 in Atchison, Kansas at my grandma's. When I was seven, I went to an airplane show. That's what inspired me to be a pilot. I crossed the Atlantic in 1932. June 1st, 1937, I took off for a round the world trip. July 2nd, 1937, I disappeared across the Pacific. I made the world a better place by showing that women can do whatever they want, even if people judge them. For example, flying. Even though I'm gone, you can still remember me by the most effective way to do it is to do it. Mysteriously, I disappeared across the Pacific on my greatest flight. Hello, I am Jackie Robinson. I was born on January 31st, 1919 in Cairo, Georgia as Jack Roosevelt Robinson. You may have known that my father left me and then we had to move to California because of that. <coughs> and then in 1945, I joined the Monarchs team to try to play baseball and try to be the first black player. And then next year, I went to the Royals. And then the big step was the Dodgers. Then I made the world a better place by making black people join MLB and breaking the color barrier. But on October 24th, 1972, I died at the age of 53 from a heart attack. 
but you can still remember me from in, in April 15, 2019 this year. It will be Jackie Robinson Day and every player gets to wear the, my number. Hello, I am Bethany Hamilton. I'm a surfer born on February 8, 1990, and I live in Kauai, Hawaii. You might have heard that my left arm got bitten off by a tiger shark. I finally got back on my board a month after the attack. I made the world a better place by showing people that instead of being scared, you can be brave and stand up against the odds. I have said I don't think much about it or worry about how I look with one arm. I'm cool being me. Hello, I am Harry Houdini. I was born on March 24th, 1874 in Budapest, Hungary. I was a pilot, magician, acrobat, movie star, and a writer. People had challenged me to escape from everything, and I always succeeded. I made the world a better place by showing anything is possible, by flying airplanes and doing all kinds of tricks, including the metamorphosis. I died on October 31st, 1926, but you can still remember my words. No chains or ropes could hold me back from freedom. Are you ready to write another poem? Hello, I am Gwendolyn Brooks. I was born on June 7, 1917 in Topeka, Kansas, and I live with my mom and dad. Many people didn't like me because my skin was so light. I was very shy, but I loved to write. I met Langton Hughes at a poetry reading in church. He inspired me to keep reading and writing. My hard work paid off and I won the Pulitzer Prize for my book, Annie Allen, a book about the life of a young black girl. I died December 3rd 2000 at my home in Chicago. I made the world a better place by inspiring young writers to pursue their dreams. You will remember me by these words. I am a writer. Perhaps I am not a talker. Hello, I'm Nelson Mandela. I was born July 18, 1918. When my, when my dad died when I was seven years old, I went to a different village so I could go to school later as a lawyer in Johannesburg, South Africa. I saw how unfairly black was treated. That was called apartheid, and that means whites and blacks apart. I made it a, a better place by standing for, for what I believe, the end of apartheid. I went to prison for 27 years. After I was released, I was elected president of South Africa and made a new constitution, no more apartheid. Hello, I'm Harriet Tubman. I was born in 1821 in Maryland. When, when I was little, I was called Minty. As I grew up, I found a man named Mary John Tubman. I died because of pneumonia. I died on March 10th. A, I made the world a better place is by helping people lead to freedom on the other underground railroad. Every dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember you have the patience, the passion, and the strength to reach for the stars to change the world. My name is Rosa Parks. I was born February 4th, 1913 in Wait, maybe you have all heard about my incident on the bus in Montgomery, Alabama. On December 1st, 1955, me getting arrested from not giving up my seat for a white man. Well, I know you won't blame me when you hear why I refused. I was following the bus rules. I was six, sitting in the black section. When all the white seats were filled, a white man wanted my seat. Well, all I could hear was my grandfather's voice, stand up for what you believe. I was not tired from working all day. I was tired from being treated unfairly. I. I made the world a better place because I started the ball rolling on civil rights thanks to my actions and the help of Martin Luther King. Equal rights were on the way for all black people. I'm Helen Keller. I was born on June 27, 1880 in Tuscumbia, Alabama. When I was 19 months, I, I got scarlet fever and was very sick. When I was two years old, 
When I was two years old, my parents realized I was deaf and blind. When I was seven, Ann Sullivan, my teacher, arrived. She taught me that everything had a name. She even worked with me even throughout college. I made the world a better place by inspiring people like me to accomplish big things. Online we can do so little, together we can do so much. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Hello, I am Daniel Boone. I was born on October 22nd, 1734 in Pennsylvania. Can you believe that when I was first born, I was the sixth child out of the, out of the 11 children? At the age of 13, my mom bought me a three foot long rifle and I named it Tick Clicker. When I was an adult, I saved my daughter from the Indians because on the Sunday when I was sleeping, the Indians captured my daughter without me noticing. I made the world a better place by killing bears, turkey, and deer for homeless people and the people who also have no shelter to survive. I died at the age of 85 in 1820 but you can remember my words after I died. I am going. My time has come. I am Annie Oakley. I was born August 13th, 1860. When I was a kid, I set up traps for food. Then I mastered setting up traps. I made the world a better place by finding a way to make a living doing what I love. I might not be here today, but you can remember me by my words my words. Aim at a high mark and you'll hit it. Hello, I am Martin Luther King Jr. I was born on January 15, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. I love to read and do speeches. Two of my teachers were ministers and they inspired, inspired me to become a minister. I worked to make sure all people were treated equally. I made the world a better place by becoming, becoming a leader of the civil rights movement, and I was the one who started the bus boycott after the Rosa Parks, Rosa Parks incident. I, I died but my dream for equality lives on. Hello, I am Jeff Kinney. I was born February 17, 1971 in Maryland. I like to read books written from Judy Bloom. When I was growing up, I loved to write books. I made the world a better place by writing books and then selling them to schools and libraries so kids could read them. That's how I made the world a better place. Okay. It is air alone which needs the support of government. Truth can stand by itself. Hello, I am Thomas Jefferson. I was born on April 2nd in my time, but April 13th today. I was born in Shadwell, Virginia in 1743. I was a super reader. I could read 15 hours straight sometimes. I became president in 1801. I made the world, the be I made the world a better place by writing the Declaration of Independence. It helped the colonies become the U.S. instead of being controlled by Britain. I died on July 4th, 1826, the 50th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence. I am beginning to I am beginning to learn that it is sweet s sweet simple things of life that are the real ones after all. Hello. I'm I'm Laura Ingalls and I was born on February 7th 1867 in a log cabin in Pep, Wisconsin. And you might see me in the movie or TV show Little House on the Prairie. In my, and you might see my daughter, Laura e Rose Ingalls, Ingalls Lane, who is still alive. I made the world a better place by teaching other kids at the a age of 15. I was, and I was the most famous, and I was the most famous, famous writer of, in my century of children's, children's books. I am gone, but my stories live on live on in my in my books. Okay. Hello, my name is Theodore Roosevelt. I was born October 27th, 1858 in New York City. I, when I was still a kid, I had asthma, but that didn't stop me from hunting, and I love the <coughs> American frontier. Education was important to me. 
and I went to college at Harvard. Let's hear more about our American heroes in our country from Lily and Dynasty. The American hero always comes through to capture, to capture our hearts with spirit so true. So proudly our soldiers who march in harm's way, ensuring our freedom, courageous they stay. While others come forth as civilians so brave, determining purpose so steadfast to save. We should always keep clear a place in our heart. For each has a vital beyond precious art. Their duty to country will not be surpassed. Please honor their courage for some it's their last. We live in a world which can be hard to bear. Thank God for their thank God for these people, how greatly they care. Do ponder new heroes and what they will face. And pray for their safety, no matter their place. Our heritage brings out the best we all know. Our great book of heroes is destined to grow. We're a grand old flag, we're a high flying flag, we're a place in the way. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for attending the third grade wax museum. We hope you enjoyed the show. Please feel free to visit each character as they come to life for just a few more minutes. Historical figures, relax. <laughs>